Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day and it's that time again but today we're off out on a trip see what we can find you want to come along? all right jump in okay so here we are still a beautiful day and uh, yeah, let's see what we can find here. Okay, let's see if we can find anything of interest. Another project, maybe. That's quite a nice looking 575. Yeah, nice and clean. That will make somebody a nice project. Hmm. Never really a fan of the 600s. Well, having said that, this one is well. Let's say I've seen worse. Now, this is interesting. It's in reasonable nick. 8,000 hours. I mean, it's, it's actually not bad, but factory but yeah 177 that's actually a Coventry built uh, 175 but for the German market when at the time um, 175 recur referred to a piece of legislation which uh, was contentious, shall we say, at the time. So they renumbered it the 177 just for the German market. Now, obviously, an import. Six ninety Irish by the look of it. Again, quite tidy for a six ninety uh, round axle one six five. So that's a two oh three engine like mine. It looks fairly unmolested. Again, an import. Let's see how many hours. Had a bit of the old brush paint job, but wheel weights. Yeah, that, that would make a nice project for somebody. It looks complete, it looks original, it doesn't look messed about. Yeah, that could make somebody a nice little, uh, nice little project there. Same with this 590. Mm. Yeah. That 
that's a bit of weight reduction going on there. Again, here's something I might to be persuaded to have a have a punt on 165 mark 3 that's been imported from France I could be persuaded to look at this one. It's had multi power at some time. Yeah. Again, 212 engine. It's doable. More weight reduction. time for more projects. 565 looks like it's been on a council hedge trimmer or something like that for a long time. Nice non-standard pickup hitch. Do like a 565. Okay, looks like it's come from Denmark. Germany. The Stavanger, so it's come from Norway. Yeah. Nice heater there. Again, be interesting for somebody. Again, another French import. Me, I produce sugar for you. KWS Sugar Bean. Yeah, that's interesting. Red top cab. Later front axle. We've seen better days. That one looks like it's been in England for a while. This one has been around livestock quite a lot though. It's had a loader on it as well by the look of it. Yeah. Not sure what that would be worth. Nice little 165 with a swept axle. Again, nice easy project for somebody. It's a round axle with a uh, nose. industrial so, something like a 240 in drag power steering road spec cross tires and it's got a speedo as well as rev counter if you've got a bit of grass to cut that would be a nice nice little job to have a nice easy project as well Topper has um, seen some work, but probably still do a turn. All in all, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Oh, now what's that caught my eye? Hmm. That would sit nicely behind the um, 165. 2012. Had a bit of a battering, but it's seen a lot worse than that. Now that is something. No, actually, it's, it's wide pickup. Four five nine. I wonder how 
don't know what that is. 1996. Got a lot of time for these balers. Good simple baler. Hydraulic bail tension, not a lubricators. If you keep those knotters clean, these will bail a lot. Doesn't look like it's had a hard life. I've got one of these. Um, mine's a couple of years older, but it does. Uh, still a good baler, but it does uh, not look as tidy as this. But these auger augers as well. I like an auger feed. Conventional baler. That's something that could well be of interest. How long some of this stuff has been here? Must have pretty much taken the route. Well, that's interesting. You don't see many of them. Oh dear, this must be the antique corner. I haven't seen one of those working for a long time. I ran one of those for a long time. Very similar to that. Actually, what's that? When was the 65? green stuff here. It's all going to fetch stupid money. I think it's all going to fetch a lot more than it's actually worth, but there you go. Poor old 590, seen better days. seen better days. One six eight. No. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that was here. I could be persuaded to take an interest in that actually. Some of these things have been waiting to be sold for a long time. I think they, they're going to struggle. Can I sell Zeta there? Yeah. That's uh, an exchange. Terracotta, New Holland. <laughs> More of these. Another French import. That's something like a one four eight or one one four yeah one four eight or something like that. 
Hmm. Lots of interesting parts for the 575 on here. It's almost worth having a look at that for the front axle. Just part that out and uh, keep the front axle and maybe have the transmission case for another project I've got lined up. As I thought. Little Dexter there. Nationals, Leyland over there. What's that Leyland? 384. But that, I think, might attract some interest. The Lambourn cab. I guess that's a 46. County 464 or something like that. Isn't it? Where's a Ford? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Fords. It's definitely a 46 with a Lambourn cab and uh, from that, that front axle. That imported David Brown. That's uh, come back from, again, France, I would think. Yeah, I think that's probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's coming back from France. Again, that is tidy. That would make a nice project for somebody. Four sixty-six forty. Gender thirty-six fifty. Again, I'm sure that's going to attract some attention. Right. Anyway. I've seen what I came to see, worked out what I might want to put a bid on, and uh, so I think that'll do for today. So thanks everyone for uh, coming along, and uh, I'll uh, see you next time. Bye. It's all right. It's not structural.